everybody, Jerry here from AndroidCentral.com. Today we're looking at the Sony Ericsson Xperia X10 from AT&T. Here's the box, let's see what we've got. Android operating system, uh, 1.6. Timescape, Mediascape, 8.1 megapixel camera, 4 inch screen. It says it on the box, must be true. Let's see what we've got in here. A bunch of papers, it looks like. U.S. safety guidelines. Uh, better read those. Make sure you're always safe. Be safe, kids. A quick start guide. Another one. I promise I'll read all that. Yeah. And the phone. This is what we're really interested in. Set it off to the side. See what else is under here. A standard USB wall wart. That's what we've come to expect. Uh, looks like just a Plain old cable. Let's tear it open and look. Yeah, USB cable. Nothing special. Plug it in like so. Charge your stuff up. Works for me. And a set of earbuds. Let's check out the earbuds. You don't see them very often in new phones anymore, so we'll check them out. Bunch of wires here. This looks like just a standard set of earbuds made by Sony. The quality feels pretty good. Three and a half millimeter. And what we have here? Ooh, a standalone microphone jack. I love seeing those in the box. You can use the same set of earbuds to listen to some music or talk on the phone. It's always good. Move all that out of the way. And here she is. Uh, pretty much exact same hardware we've seen from the other X10, but let's crack the back off. Have a look. Pull this battery out. It's hard to do, believe it or not. Uh, we've got come standard with a two gigabyte and SD card, and that's where your SIM goes. Uh, Fifteen hundred for the battery size. That's pretty good. Should should do you well on a you know device as long as you're not really hammering it. Cover back on. Cover's pretty flimsy when it's off the device, but when you put it on there, it feels really good. Top, you've got the power button. Let's turn this on. That'll come on here in a minute. In the back, you've got uh, your flash and that 8.1 megapixel camera. See the AT&T and Sony Ericsson logo. Looks pretty good back there. Besides the power button, you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And under mystery door number two, if we can get it open is the hidey hole for your micro USB connector. So, that place covers it, keeps it clean. And this phone is on. Uh, I'm used to phones making noise and buzzing when they come on, and this one doesn't. Eventually, you'll see it turn on. So just ignore me, keep trying. Over here on the right side of the phone, we have the camera button, dedicated camera button. Volume controls up and down. It's pretty standard. Nothing spectacular. On the left side of the device, it's smooth, nice, and it feels pretty nice in the hand. On the bottom, that's they went to the trouble of putting in a spot where you can tie on a charm if you're into that kind of thing. And see, I told you it would come on. Uh, up top, that's your earpiece. You know, looks good. Doesn't stand out really visible and ugly. The lock screen over. Uh, three buttons, not four, just like we saw in the other Xperia over three screens too. You've got a menu button, menu button, settings, back button, and the home button. So, there we go. Uh, no search button. Not sure what's up there, but there's no search button on this one, neither on the other X10. You know, the European X10 didn't have a search button, so we should be used to it by now. But on the whole, the device feels really nice in the hand. Uh, it's, I was surprised. It's great build quality, and you know, like most Sony devices, it feels really solid. It feels great in the hand. We'll take a look at the software, which maybe won't be quite as great, but we'll see. They supposedly fix things up a little bit. And look for that soon. Uh, you all have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.